Hey guys, how's it going? Hope everybody's doing well out there today. Uh, I was getting ready to start building a new series talking about Open Media Vault 6, setting up a home server using Open Media Vault 6, and Docker and Portainer, and all of the good stuff that we like to talk about on this channel. And then I realized, you know what? Let's, let's take a step back and let's talk about our actual network itself. So that's why I'm actually super stoked to be able to have partnered with TP-Link to talk to you guys today about their TP-Link Deco X55 wireless mesh network solution. Okay, so in order to uh, keep the sanity in my house uh, as close to sane as possible, I have decided to set up just a separate home lab in the new studio space. Uh, you'll have to forgive the uh, <clears throat> that I screwed that up. Anywho, irrelevant. Uh, you guys will never see that other than this spot right here. So uh, over here, uh, the the new series that we're going to talk that we're going to do uh, after this video, obviously, is going to be focused on the Zima board. Uh, I've got an external hard drive that they sent over as well. Well, this is an SSD that I put in an include. Anyway, this is the solution we're going to use in the studio. Uh, that is the Zima board 832. Uh, over here, I've got uh, the Tiny Pilot, uh, which I tried to use to set up the Zima board with Open Media Vault 6. Crap catastrophe, nightmare, had all kinds of problems. I don't know if it was. Anyway, it's it's fixed. The, the, that video is actually mostly recorded now. Anyway, below that we've got a, an eight port Netgear, uh, just one gig switch with again eight ports uh, that is plugged into this Deco. Uh, TP-Link Deco X55 uh, node here. It looks like I scuffed that up. Yep, I sure did. So this is basically what the new home network is going, or the, the new studio lab is going to be. Uh, we're going to get our connectivity from this X55 uh, TP-Link uh, node here. It's going to go into here, uh, then it's going to go to here, uh, and then uh, through a browser, it's going to go over there. Hey, there, there's a there's a teaser for later. Uh, but anyway, this is going to be the new studio lab for uh, the upcoming tutorials that we're going to do on this channel. And uh, a big part of, of what makes me excited about this is the speeds that I do get with uh, the new system versus uh, versus the Unify system I've been using for the last year or so, just under a year now. I actually had something come up on my Facebook page the other day. I like to ramble. I don't know why. Anyway, so this is going to be the new the new uh, studio uh, home lab solution for the tutorials that we're going to cover in here. It doesn't look like much, but man, it gets the job done. And again, I am I'm thrilled with this Deco system here. Um, on the back, if we turn this around. Uh, here it's 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 very basic. It really is. Um, it it has uh, three network ports uh, and a power port, and and that's it. So here's the thing, though. Um, this is connected wirelessly to the node that's in the house, uh, and then of course I can break this out. This has got its own built-in switch here. Uh, that any of these ports can be a LAN or a WAN port. Uh, it, it identifies all that automatically, uh, so there's no configuration you have to mess with. Well, which port was that? Whatever. Uh, it does it automatically, which I absolutely love that TP-Link has done here. Um, so of course I've got this going to, to port one, and then this, uh, ports two and three going over to, to the Zima board, uh, just for redundancy. I don't have them all set up yet, but that is the solution that we're going to use here. So now that we've kind of got that out of the way, again, this X55 node that they sent me, uh, they, they sent me three of these. They sent a, a pack of three, uh, which is good for like 6,000 square feet, which is a, a multitude of times larger than I need. So this is going to be the new setup, um, and I'm super stoked that uh, that TP-Link uh, stepped up, reached out to me actually, and asked if I would if I would uh, talk to you guys about the X55. Uh, so let's, I tell you what, let's, Let's let's get me to shut up for just half a second and go take a look at the kind of network speeds that you can expect with a solution like this. Okay, guys, so here we are on my desktop. Uh, not much going on here, but if we come down to the bottom right corner of the screen uh, and click the little up arrow right here, we can see the internet connection. Internet access I've got is the Bergs. That is my Unify slash Ubiquiti uh, wireless network that I connect to for, for the internet. Uh, it is a just a single access point strategically located in the middle of my house to get the most even coverage possible. So now that we've kind of established the the, 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 the groundwork here, uh, let's go over here and do a speed test uh, on that connection. Uh, let's press this. I should get between 75 and 100 megs, uh, give or take, uh, for this connection. Uh, and this is perfectly fine for where I'm located in my little recording studio here, um, because all I'm ever doing out here is, well, recording tutorials. I don't game out here. I don't stream out here. I might, I might, I might stream. That's irrelevant. So 75 megs, give or take, fine. I can deal with that. Now, of course, we don't necessarily care about Unify because we're here about TP-Link and the, the Deco X55 mesh system, right? So what I want to do is actually come over to here. I'm going to uh, click up. I'm going to click over to here. I'm going to switch over once it uh, once it reestablishes uh, that, that connection. Give it a second. There it is. I'm going to connect to that. 
going to click connect. We're going to give this just a second to do its thing. Get settled in like so. All right, it says it's connected. So we're going to, we may have to run this a couple of times to make sure everything is settled in, but uh, let's, let's do this and press go. Again, I am connected to a single wireless access point uh, that is from uh, TP-Link. Again, this is the X55. Uh, again, just a single access point and I'm getting 90, 91, 92, 92, 93, 94, okay, 94. So that was on the, the, the TP-Link X55 Deco uh, network uh, wireless mesh system. I need to learn how to talk. However, here's the thing I didn't tell you about that. Currently, I have one node set up and it is not centrally located in anywhere in my house other than my living room, which is which is considerably further away, uh, all things considered, than my uh, than my Unify access point. Uh, it is it is in the middle of a network rack. Uh, it is it is mixed in with all of my other electronics. Whereas again, the Unify is on my ceiling, away from everything other than a smoke detector. So again, X55 at 94 megs. Uh, Unify at 74 megs. So that's what almost a 30% increase, even though the X55 is further away now. Again, the X55 uh, from, from the TP-Link Deco X55 is a mesh network system. And right now I have one node up and running. So what I wanna do is actually, uh, I've got another node right here. Uh, I want to get it plugged in and let it connect to the network and then run this test again. So uh, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna break the video here and we're gonna come right back. A few moments later. Okay, so now that unit is on, it's green. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but uh, it says that the, the studio is also connected. Uh, it is online. So what I want to do, just to be sure that we're connected to the right device here, is I want to actually uh, disconnect and then reconnect uh, just to avoid any kind of uh, connection issues, really. I mean, that's what we're talking about here. So uh, let's let's do this real quick. 8.1. Let's get logged in here just real quick. Because what I want to do here is actually make sure that I'm connected to the right... Uh, the right thing here. I'm going to click on studio, um, studio, do, 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 where it is, clients, do, okay, that is, that is this unit. So, uh, let, let's run that test again. So, we're going to do this and that and click here and go. Okay, now, <laughs> that is, of course, we're going to get some fluctuation here. However, uh, you, we, we, we can see that we're getting a substantially, significantly faster connection uh, with this wireless Deco X55 uh, solution here uh, just by adding a second node. Of course, I got the three pack, uh, so I've actually got more than I need, really. Uh, in fact, if I really wanted to, I could set up uh, another one of these nodes at my neighbor's house and give her internet access if I wanted to do that, but I'm not gonna. Uh, this is just to show that, uh, I, I, again, here we've got, this is our Unify uh, wireless network access point, again, strategically located in the middle of my house. Uh, this is the node, just a single uh, TP-Link Deco X55 node on the other side of my house, much further away than uh, than the Unify uh, access point. And uh, then here, once we add a second access point real close to me here, uh, here are the speeds that I'm getting. Now, just for the giggles of it, let's actually plug in uh, to a wired connection. Uh, I could, I don't really, this, this laptop doesn't go anywhere, so I could absolutely plug it in. So let's do that and run that test as well. And just to avoid any kind of uh, issues here, we're going to disconnect from the Wi-Fi. Here we can see that we've got DB Tech, the hardwired connection there. So uh, let's use even more memory than we need to and open another Chrome tab and click go. And uh, here of course is my wired connection. Of course, uh, that is just wired to the node here in the studio. So that is still a great connection from this node to that node on the other end of my house. Uh, I went from, well, let's let's finish this. So, okay, so we went from 74 megs on a single Unify node to 94 megs on a single TP-Link node to 170 megs on a, a, a mesh network uh, TP-Link setup. And then of course, plugging into one of those nodes tripled our speeds from our previous score from 170 to 550. So TP-Link, their Deco X55 uh, solution is not messing around. 
Okay, so now that you've seen uh, the kind of the new studio setup that we're going to have for the networking and the, the home lab and that sort of thing for all of these tutorials, we've talked about the internet speeds that I'm actually able to get out here using the TP-Link Deco X55 uh, network solution. Whether I'm uh, wireless or wired, uh, the speeds speak for themselves as far as uh, the connection that I get out here. Now, there are some things that I do want to discuss. Um, the first is that the Unify solution that I'm using um, is a, it's a... a is the Security Gateway Pro 4 or 4 Pro or whatever the case is. And I do have uh, intrusion prevention, the intrusion prevention, the IPS system uh, enabled on that. And as a, because of that, it actually has throttled my internet uh, from the 1.2 gigs that I get uh, down um, from my internet provider uh, to about four to 500 megs, give or take, uh, as actual throughput through that router with IPS turned on. On the flip side of that, I also have IPS turned on with the, the, the TP-Link uh, Deco X55 solution. And even with uh, IPS turned on, that intrusion prevention system turned on with the TP-Link system, uh, I'm still getting 550 megs uh, out here in the studio. Um, I get even higher speeds, obviously, when I'm plugged directly into the system uh, in, 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 the, in the front of the house. So that is that is one of the things that I do want to mention is that I do have IPS turned on on both of those. I want to be very transparent about that. Also, the other thing that I want to be transparent about with um, with TP-Link is that they again they do have an IPS solution. However, it's not free. Uh, it's it's like sixty bucks a year or five bucks a month um, in order to get that. However, it does cover quite a bit of stuff. Uh, it's all handled through AI. It will monitor your, your IoT devices. It will manage, uh, all, it basically it protects everything. In fact, let's, let's, let's jump over here to my desktop. Let's look up the, uh, oops. Let's open up a new tab. Let's do Deco, oh, Deco X55. Uh, and let's just kind of take a quick look through here. So this is obviously that solution that they sent over. Uh, this is the AX3000 dual band Wi-Fi, uh, four streams. So I think two up, two down, two in, two out, whatever. Uh, and, and so basically it's got this AI driven mesh, which basically uh, they send direct beams to each other once they've kind of triangulated or figured out where they are in relation to each other. Um, again, it also has three gigabit ports. Uh, boosted seamless coverage. So if you, you can actually go in to tune into the solution and turn on the seamless, uh, which will help transition from, from one network device to the other when you're moving around your, your, your domicile, your home, your business, your wherever. However, uh, the downside to having that seamless thing turn on is that some devices, some older devices don't support it and they will just wig the hell out and, and won't work properly. So make sure you turn that on at your, at your network system discretion, making sure that all, all of your devices will support that. The other thing, <clears throat> um, the setup, I have mixed feelings on the administration of uh, the TP-Link Deco system. And that is because if I go to the web dashboard on my, uh, on my browser here, this is all I get. Uh, I, can, I can see what's going on here. Uh, I can take a look at my advanced stuff here. And that's, that's really all I can do. Uh, if I want to manage the, the TP-Link Deco system, I have to either uh, do it on my phone uh, through the Android or the iOS app, of course, for me, Android. The other option is to, uh, if, your, if your system, if your, your desktop system supports Android apps, you can absolutely do that. Uh, I am actually using uh, a third-party solution in order to do that on Windows 10 uh, called BlueStack 5 Multi-Instance Manager. So BlueStack's here. And if I open this up, Hopefully this will boot up fairly quickly here. Okay, uh, so let's let's minimize this. And and once I'm here, let's let's make that full screen. Uh, I can see my my home network. We can see all of the devices that are currently on there. And I know that the the amount of traffic or the amount of devices connected will generally affect the overall internet speed that I get. However, there's not really anything going on on my network uh, as far as the internet itself is concerned. Uh, I think the kid is watching MB and the wife is playing Cyberpunk. So not a lot of network traffic going on there. Uh, of course, that's also on a different network, but I know it will over, uh, affect the modem speeds. So we've got that. So the ability to, to manage the network um, realized again, either on a cell phone or, or being able to, to load uh, Android apps or, or mobile apps onto your desktop. 
Now, once we're in here, we can, of course, open this up and, you know, we can, we can look at, you know, the Deco Lab and we can, if we click on the, the Wi-Fi assistant here, uh, you know, we can run Wi-Fi diagnostics and it will, it will kind of run through this whole process of making sure that everything is up and going. Uh, but because I'm doing this in an Android emulator, it doesn't work as well as I'd like it to. Um, I have... I have asked uh, the, the nice folks over at TP-Link why they haven't uh, made a desktop uh, manageable system. And I didn't really get a good, a good answer. So here, okay, so, so here I'm still getting 150 megs even through an emulator, so that's, that's fine. Uh, let's go back. Again, it's, it's saying blue stacks there. Anyway, let's go back. Uh, we can detect, uh, we can scan for devices, we can ping, we can do Mac up, lookups, we can do a Wi-Fi interference checker, we can do an open port checker. Uh, all of this is available in here uh, in this uh, Deco Lab tab over here on the left-hand side. Uh, if we go over here to Location, uh, we can go to Home. Uh, again, we can see all of the devices that are currently connected. Across the bottom, uh, we've got uh, we basically we've got little shortcuts that we can do here. Uh, for me, uh, this basically QoS is the network to give me all of the bandwidth uh, for whatever is connected. Just a little move I decided to do there. Uh, there's also automation stuff. If you've got compatible devices, you can automate things um, to do to do what you want them to do there. Uh, over here, uh, we've got, um, basically we can scan your network from here. We can click, let's just click scan and see what happens. Uh, it, may, it may throw up a couple of errors. We'll see. The following items can be optimized. So uh, in the week or so that I've had this up and running, it has apparently detected something that may need to be addressed here. So let's uh, let's give this just a second. Uh, to, to do its thing. Okay, so we've got one risk. My network, no threats. Great. Can I, can I click on that? Uh, firmware version. You know, I clicked this the other day and, oh, uh, nope. Uh, we, we have the current version. So that error message is wrong. Uh, that's interesting. Uh, like I said, it's been a week since I set this up. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, again, we can see we can prioritize devices here. Um, uh, network performance. We can take a look at this. Uh, that's all the same stuff. Oh, let's go over here. Uh, anal uh, analyze channel congestion. So it's just going to, again, use that AI to, to go through its process of optimizing everything there. Uh, so let's come back out of here. Uh, reports, we've, we can actually take a look at reports. Let's see, I haven't actually looked at this yet. Um, and total preventions, nothing, because I don't have anything going here. Uh, total scan times, of course, I've scanned it several times. Uh, new devices, we can see all of this. Um, and then... Connections per day, four devices. Again, this is still, I'm still testing some stuff here and, and that's kind of where things are. So again, with as easy as it was to set up, again, I'm not super thrilled that I have to do it on my phone or a tablet. Um, there are some trade-offs to that. However, uh, with, with the better connection speeds that I get, the stronger Wi-Fi connection that I get, um, all of the little security things that I get here, uh, I'm actually considering going over and switching to TP-Link for my home networking solution just to help simplify things. And I understand that uh, that will cause me some issues because... Um, because Unify has, mul I, can, I can set up basically as many uh, VLANs as I want. I can set up as many different wireless networks as I want. Whereas with this, I'll have the main and the guest and that's it. And I will have to figure out how I want to do that. However, again, with Home Shield and their IoT protection, I feel pretty confident in just having one network with all of my devices on it. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Love to hear your thoughts on switching from Unify to TP-Link. Uh, they are actually in the process of shipping over a 24 port TP-Link switch to swap out for my managed uh, Unify switch. So that's that's something I'm kind of kicking around as well. But uh, that that is that is the X55 uh, platform from TP-Link. I'm super stoked about it. Uh, it works really well. My speeds out here are amazing. The extra security and, and the reporting that I get is great. Um, so anyway, that's it, man. I want, first, I want, I want to thank TP-Link. They reached out to me and asked if I was interested in working with them. Um, I'd actually tweeted a while back saying, hey, I, my Amazon store moves a lot of TP-Link devices. And then like a week later, they reached out to me. So uh, so that's cool. Thank you guys for, for buying their products, uh, giving them the, the peace of mind to reach out to me, uh, knowing that I, I like to promote their products. So that's cool. Um, but I think that kind of covers everything. I didn't mean for this video to be as long as it is. I apologize for that. Uh, but here we are. Uh, again, I want to give a big shout out to TP-Link. I want to thank you guys uh, for, for watching, for checking this out. Uh, definitely check out the link, the, the description for more information about how you can pick one of these up. Um, and I think with all of that being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up and I will talk to you guys in the next video.